While Fritz was recovering from being shot, he had so much time on his hands, so he would watch the news. Now, he would hear stories about the crack epidemic and how the Colombians was warned to control territory in major U.S. cities. Now, in the 70s, he was dealing H, but it was the 80s, and he didn't know anything about crack, but he wanted in. What's up, people? Welcome to Members Only. I cover short topics of the crime genre. I don't cover current events or life stories. And for the people that have request videos, please be patient. Research could be time consuming. Editing a video could be time consuming. Plus, I have a career that keeps my lights on, so you know how that goes. <laughs> but if I forgot about you, you know, I'm not doing it on purpose. Just remind me in the comments. Now, now I've officially been in this YouTube game for two years now. And we're going to start the year off right with Richard Fritz Simmons. Now, sitting down for months made him think about a lot. He became sharper. He had charisma, ability to think outside the box and move strategically, which caused him to be the next big thing. The first person he thought of was an associate he met a while ago that was an associate to the Medellin cartel. In the 80s, the cartel war caused the cartels to ship large amounts of product into the U.S. for low prices or even on consignment, creating many rags to riches stories. It would save and destroy families at the same time. That's really the sad part about the whole thing. But Fritz headed back to the city and arranged a meeting with a friend, and he got 15 bricks on consignment. Now, taking that amount of work up front from the cartels, it's already a risk within itself. Now, let me tell you something. Now, these are not the guys you would even play with a little bit. When people in America say they cut from a different cloth, yeah, okay, these people go after your wife, kids, the dog. But scary money don't make no money. He took the blocks, and he was going to give them out on consignment which was another big risk in them dirty streets. The people around him didn't agree with the plan, but he was a gambler. Plus, that was a way to take customers, destroy competition. Come on now, you can't compete with consignment. During his first run, the work was sold in two weeks. He changed the game. He saved and helped employ many families that knew they could work for him to make ends meet if they lost their jobs. He had money coming in from all over New York, DC, Baltimore, and Philly. The way he saved families and changed lives, he developed the nickname Nikolai, which means the people of victory. 112th Street was popping. If you lived on that strip, you was good. Now, his first couple runs went smooth. Then you had some people run off. But by that time, he was up, up. And those people just played themselves. He began starting people small. And being a great judge of character, he would never give out what he couldn't afford to lose. He would start too small. He would start you with a half an eighth and sometimes half a key. It got to a point where Fritz was unloading six boxes from a truck. Each box had 50 keys in it. That was 300 keys in one run. Imagine getting caught with all that. <laughs> he was doing that every week. He went from 500 keys a month to 300 keys a week. That's 1,200 keys a month. Now, a lot of men try to get close to Fritz with hidden agendas. When you was up, you see a lot of smiles. But when you're down, you see the same people in a different light. 1989, New York went into a drought. With his product caught up in a barge in the Hudson River, he needed to think fast. He turned to his Bahamas Connect. The one thing was he had to get some assistance with some funds because his paper was tied into the streets. He turned to some members of his team and he was let down. The only person that came through was his right-hand man, A. Small. The same man that asked Fritz why he trusts him so much. And he said, well, remember when I told you not to look into that closet? I knew you would look. Fritz kept millions of dollars in that closet. Ace had many opportunities to rob him, but never took a dollar. Now that's loyalty. You need to keep those guys around you. Now when Fritz was sick, Ace was doing 20 years for a crime that he didn't commit. While he was away, others in Fritz's crew took advantage and stole money from Fritz. Boxes of money that was supposed to go to his family went missing. To keep it a hundred, if Ace was home during that time, he would have made sure Fritz's family was straight. But the type of risk Fritz took during his criminal career led to his success. He wasn't stingy. He spent money, but he wasn't caught up in a flashy lifestyle. He gave many opportunities. He was put in many situations where he had to take a gamble. He didn't win every gamble, neither. He took many losses. That's just a part of the game. Losses are a part of life. Losses cause many people to give up. Don't get caught up on the next person wins because you'll see many wins in the light but you don't know how many losses kept in the dark. Happy New Year. Hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe out there. Have a drink for me. Be careful in that circus, man. Stay home if you can. Fall back. Stay out of trouble. Make it to the next year. 
I'm out.